It's time to get cooking with Chef Nanny Bubby. Yep, she's showing us how easy it is to just make pasta from scratch right at home. Let's check it out. Hi everyone, welcome to Nanny Bubby's Kitchen on this Friday. So happy to be sharing it with you. Of course, as always, we want to thank our main sponsor, Chapman Automotive, for always being here along with us. Shutdown's over. Buy your next car from Chapman Automotive. And Melissa's Produce, always a thank you for providing our produce. So when the shutdown began, I noticed hoarding, as I'm sure you did, toilet paper, pasta, and I was really concerned about what I would be feeding my family. So I did the right, most important thing I could do for my family is I bought a KitchenAid pasta making mixer so that I could make pasta for my family. This machine does so much, I can't even believe it. I even thought it might make toilet paper, but it didn't. <laughs> anyway, I'd like to show you how easy it is actually to make your own homemade pasta. So making pasta dough is really very easy. There's only just a very few ingredients in there. Two cups all-purpose flour leveled off, right? Don't have to sift. Into the bowl. Two. Level it off. There we go. Three eggs beaten right into the mixer. There we go. A teaspoon of salt and one tablespoon of olive oil right into the mixer. There we go. And we're going to turn it on just for 30 seconds and let it mix on low just till it gets crumbly and comes together. Then we're going to change out the mixer. Just get all the crumbles right off. So you always want to flour your board or your mat before you put the pasta on it because it's probably going to be a little bit sticky. And here's the one thing that I learned. Even though you've got a dough hook in there and the dough hook has been actually kneading the bread, it just doesn't hurt for you to take the bread, or excuse me, the pasta out and actually just knead it for a few minutes. And what we're gonna do is take the pasta, we're gonna cover this with saran wrap and let it rest for 30 minutes. Okay, the pasta dough has rested for 30 minutes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it in four equal pieces. We're going to take it and form each one into a rectangle, the best that we can, about a quarter of an inch thick. We're going to turn on the pasta maker and setting one, this is the pasta roller, so first you roll, then you make the pasta, and into the roller we go. I do every setting twice, so back through. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to take flour and put it just right over the top of the pasta roll, pasta strip here. Keep it from sticking. And then that way, while you make your other three pieces, because this is so long, it could literally go across your entire table. You want to fold it in three. And so now we've put our fettuccine attachment onto the mixer. We're going to turn it on setting two. Sounds about right. See how easily this unwrapped with the um, flour on it? And we're going to feed it right through. And it is so easy and fun to make, as you can see. But if you tune in, in two weeks from now, I am going to show you how we turn this pasta into what's called midnight pasta. In fact, we're going to shoot it right now as our series two. 
So tune in in two weeks from now. Have a great weekend, everyone. All right, check out Chef Nanny Bubby on Facebook and Instagram. And thanks to Chapman Automotive for sponsoring that segment. We will be right back.